Corolla. For many, the name is synonymous with sensible, fun-free transportation. But this is a Corolla of a different color. Ah, the Toyota Corolla hatchback. Ponder its swoopy, compact modernism. If this exact car rolled into hot import nights way back in the day, heads would have exploded, especially with this blue flame paint job. But underneath that superficial allure hides outstanding value. Base SE trim with destination charges starts around 21 grand and includes automatic climate control, LED head and taillights, seven airbags, a five-year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty, a leather steering wheel, and push button start with a smart key so you'll never have to reach into your pocket or purse to unlock the car. Also standard is an 8-inch Entune 3.0 infotainment screen placed near the driver's sight line featuring six speaker audio, two USB ports, and OMG, Apple CarPlay. Ah, thank you, Toyota. Though Android Auto is not available. But at least I got mine. <clears throat> Toyota's infotainment solution is a breeze to use and, like the best systems these days, thoughtfully blends well-organized screens with physical buttons around the bezel. Throughout the rest of the interior, I'm kind of blown away by the material quality. It's much softer and stylish than the name Corolla Hatchback would suggest. And on the fancier XSE trim, there's stitching on the dash and doors. Like, real stitching. The center armrest could be more padded, but I love how it slides, letting me rest my elbows while keeping both hands on the wheel. I also dig the nicely adjustable driving position and front seats that merge long distance comfort with superior lateral support. Speaking of support, the available power driver's seat includes adjustable lumbar support. Second row seating feels tight, but my knees and head actually do clear, though that might not be the case with somebody taller driving. Move inboard and a low center hump and decent headroom make the middle position workable for short stints. I wouldn't want to live here, but this is okay. Where interior storage is concerned, there's a USB adjacent phone corral, a damped average sized glove box, bottle storage in the doors, two central cup holders, and a small nook in the center console. Versus hatchback variants of the Honda Civic and Chevy Cruze, the Corolla's 18 cubic foot cargo area is small, even so, it's a workable space, and the standard 60-40 split seats fold flat without much pain. I also like how the headrests flip forward rather than having to be removed. Another thoughtful touch is an indicator in the gauge cluster that shows which of the rear seat seatbelts have been latched. As a concerned parent, that matters to me. All Corolla hatchbacks utilize a decently powerful two-liter four-cylinder engine. The standard transmission is a six-speed manual with sports car-inspired downshift rev matching abilities. Impressive. Personally, I favor the manual, but there are good reasons to choose the optional continuously variable transmission. For $1,100, the CVT simplifies stop-and-go commutes while substantially boosting fuel economy. CVT models also make blind spot monitoring available while adding full speed abilities to the dynamic cruise control, meaning in traffic, the Corolla hatch can automatically slow itself to a complete stop. But the best thing about the CVT is the complete absence of delay. At any speed, when you press the throttle, engine revs rise immediately, delivering spunky acceleration. The same holds true when leaving from a stop. Where continuously variable transmissions have traditionally struggled, the ingenious incorporation of a launch gear into its CVT imparts the Corolla hatchback with strong, smooth power off the line. Matching the powertrain's immediacy are brakes that are right on the edge of being a little too touchy. But with a little driver adaptation, that immediacy becomes an asset, especially when driving aggressively. It's a straight road, I can't drive aggressively yet. Give it a beat. On that note, can a compliant ride coexist with quick steering and playful handling? Apparently, yes. This is the face of a man who's having fun driving a car with a badge that says Corolla. <laughs> mm. 
on the freeway, wind noise is apparent, but not unacceptable for the category. Thick B and C pillars hinder visibility somewhat to the rear and sides, but thin A pillars support a clear view forward. And for strategically blocking your view of the sun, there are fully effective sun visor extenders, because you know I have to talk about the sun visors. The Corolla hatchback's outstanding value is further elevated by a standard collection of active driver assists called Safety Sense 2.0 that includes pre-collision warning with pedestrian detection, daytime cyclist detection, roadside detection, dynamic cruise control, and lane departure alert with steering assist. I really like how instead of constantly beeping, the system gives you a visual alert in the gauge cluster, and then for really critical lane departure warnings, it'll beep at you. Noted. CVT equipped models also get lane tracing assist, which tracks lane markings and the vehicle ahead to keep your Corolla hatchback in the center of its lane. Even when faced with curves or less than obvious lane markers, the system works well, thoughtfully anticipating the vehicle's trajectory and then proactively steering to keep it within its lane. If you want to live your best Corolla hatchback life, the roughly $24,000 XSE trim offers upgraded infotainment, front seat heaters, dual zone climate control, and 18-inch wheels replacing the base car's 16-inch alloys. Just keep in mind that the XSE gives up three combined MPG versus the cheaper SE trim. Hatchback versions of the Mazda 3, Honda Civic, Volkswagen Golf, Chevy Cruze, and Subaru Impreza have their pluses, but man, the Toyota Corolla hatchback is compelling. It's competitively priced, packed with safety features, it's a Toyota so resale value should remain strong, it's fun to drive, <laughs> comfortable, practical, and most importantly, it looks cool. If I was in the market for a compact hatchback, that's the one I'd buy. <laughs>